hey you guys so i'm back at it again another what pinky's life advice as you know my name is pinky i'm your resident love spirit guy also life coach but still same thing <laughs> i hope y'all been giving life to the sun okay as much as i miss y'all i know the sun misses you more okay so i know you've been praying to the sun thanking the sun for its cleansing energy and thanking the sun for always being there for us and thank you for the sun for recharging us after the battles and wars we've been going through okay mentally physically spiritually and even emotionally so i know you're giving thanks to god i just know you're talking to him being grateful for being alive and being grateful for being here and being grateful okay to have another day to do what i love to do and that's be me love me see me <laughs> okay i just had to go on a tangent because it's just like it's a lot of ungrateful energy going on in the collective and it's a lot of ungrateful energy 55 as i said there so five is the number of change and i've been seeing that a lot because i needed to change the way of how ungrateful i've been you know i'm saying the collective because i am you and you are me but i've been very ungrateful to the fact that i have people around me one one was i'm gonna say that that supports me that pray for me that pray with me that pray on my success that pray pray on my i don't know why in the back of my mind it's saying downfall but it's saying downfall because it's like i'm letting the the darkness low-key seek back in and i'm letting it seek back in because lately i've been rejecting wanting to hear the truth i've been rejecting wanting to hear the light i've been rejecting actually wanting to talk to myself and actually be there for myself i've been rejecting the fact that i need validation i truly do need validation <sighs> with that because i need to release that because lately i've been really tense and i've been talking a lot and i've been talking fast so we're gonna breathe in then breathe out breathe in breathe out you want to notice breathe in Breathe out how tense you feel. Breathe in. Calm your body. Calm your hands. Calm your arms. Unclench your teeth. Breathe out. Breathe in. Unclench your teeth. Breathe out. Okay. I had to do that because honestly i've been forgetting the fact that i can regulate myself now and that i can fix myself now and when i say fix myself i mean i can love myself truly to give me to keep going and to get my energy back up i've been noticing that i haven't allowed myself to really take joy in the journey that i'm in i'm just trying to close off my heart like i did when i first did this journey when i had to close out my heart because i was very desperate desperate for a way desperate for somebody to find me desperate for somebody to come and save me desperate to just have something with me but it's like i'm not desperate anymore i don't need to keep doing desperate moves and try to like just do stuff out of quantity instead of quality and it's like, I want to have so much. I shouldn't even say that because <laughs> I should be that within my mindset. Because when it, I'm thinking of it as in my business, not understanding my business has to start somewhere. Because you have to learn how to start somewhere. So that's why I'm saying like the desperate energy was needed back in the day. Because you needed to know how to start. You just had to get up. You just had to go. You just had to get out of what you were going through at the time but the desperation isn't needed like when i say desperation it's that energy of moving so fast it's the energy of always having to be on the go and always having to allow your mind not allow your mind to really process what's going on but you know you're just moving off your intuition so much because it's just like you have to get up out of here so i just gotta find ways to go and i gotta find ways to just not it is overworking yourself, but at the same time, overwork yourself so you can start to get the energy of getting up and going. <laughs> you know, you do that for a while until you learn to sit down and regulate yourself, until you learn what you really need and what you really want. You know, sometimes you have to go through what you don't want so you can get what you do want. And when I say that, I'm saying that in the sense of, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I just got way off track. <laughs> no 
I'm saying that in the sense of just just slow down. <laughs> Cause so I was talking about the disparate energy. It's just something about this disparate energy. I, I I'm still learning it as I'm going. Like these are all just like quick messages that I'm saying to myself because I'm starting to figure it out and I'm start starting to talk to God with it. And as you know, like these this this pinky's life advice is really just giving myself advice giving myself tutoring giving myself like quiz courses and things that i've created leaving a legacy of who i am and what i'm building and just you know <laughs> something that my kids can see and leave behind so it's like i process as i go and i just come on youtube and process it because i want people to understand that these are what conversations inside of your mind looks like this is what you're supposed to be having with yourself these are the conversations you're supposed to be having with yourself this is the time where you want to build that relationship with yourself you have to learn how to talk to yourself you have to learn how to build that relationship with yourself and that comes with talking to yourself that comes with being aware of yourself that comes with noticing yourself you know i was in the gym with my mentor slash personal trainer shout out kenzie okay shout out <laughs> um i was in there and she was saying i love how how aware you are and i was like dang I didn't even realize how aware I really am. I'm always aware. I'm always on go. I'm always focused on. I'm not going to worry about the negative because it, no, it's like I'm focused on. I am focused on the negative. I'm focused on everything of what I have to fix. So I'm so aware of myself because I'm trying to focus on the fact of what do I have to fix? What do I have to perfect? How can I love myself more? How can I love myself better? How can I talk to myself better? Okay, what's the problem today? What's the problem right here? What's the problem right now? It's like I've been so silenced by God because I've been emptying myself, emptying my soul, emptying my whole tank. Like I, I've noticed lately I can't even watch advice videos because if it's not fulfilling myself with me, I don't want to hear it right now i don't want to hear what other people have to say i don't want to hear how other people built themselves up i want to hear about how do i want to build myself up how do i need to see myself how do i need to be loved how do i need to be valued you know and i'm saying that to get you to understand it's about like being silenced god silencing you so you can understand what you need so ooh confirmation thank you so if god is getting people out your life and god is moving you around in different situations that make you uncomfortable that make you have to resort to him more you have to resort to him more you have to learn to find a quiet place within the situation that you're going through you're gonna have to learn what you like and what you don't like you're gonna have to sit there and talk to yourself because you realize this situation is not fitting me and the more that i keep looking at this as not a problem and just something that i'm okay with i should be grateful with out of desperation then you're never actually truly gonna get what you want <laughs> not spirit coming in my nose that's <laughs> that's really what this is hitting on because it's like a lot of us are still in desperate energies a lot of us are still in obligation energies a lot of us are not understanding that this is not the time where you want to be desperate this is a time where you want to be grateful for something that you actually deserved and you actually feel like you deserved it and want it this is the time where you talk to God and tell him what you want and what you don't want. This is the time where you need to be talking to yourself. Do you enjoy this experience with these people? And if you don't, then that's the time when you want to talk to God. That's the time when you want to talk to yourself. It's like he's not putting you in punishment. He's just wanting you to figure out, is this for you? Because I can't move in your life unless you realize this is for you or not. And since you have not came to me with a problem or came to me with something of how can I say it since you haven't came to me about anything I'm thinking everything is perfectly fine so until you talk to him he's not gonna know that this is not a perfect situation for me I cannot be in this with you right now I cannot do this with these people I, I, I am not fit here to live here to talk to them, to work there, to be in this place, it's, it's not helping me. And the moment you surrender to the fact that you can't do this anymore, 
not because <laughs> you're mad at him and you're kicking at him and you're screaming at him and you're telling him how much you're a bitch and da 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 You can have those moments. Those moments are needed and those moments are valid. But he's only going to talk to you when you truly understand not only your part in it, but I'm not going to say not only your part because when you come to him like that, it's like you're coming with a problem. <laughs> because it, it, it is not, it's like... I'm telling y'all this because the way we're talking to God is wrong. That's really what he's telling me. Like, it's like the way we're talking to him is not right. We're 1027, as I say that. 10 is the number of completion and 27 is the number of opt optimist optimism, you know? <laughs> Leadership. Happy days. Oh, happy days. Jesus, wow. I think that's how the sound goes. <laughs> um, yeah, 1027 how we talk to him it's all about how you talk to him because if you're going on your knees in desperation you're truly still not understanding only the des only only the devil does desperate i like how i studied on that because it almost didn't come out like he was trying to block what i was saying you know but it was like only the devil deals in desperation god doesn't want you desperate god wants you at your best god wants you to be like dang i'm thankful for this god but I know I need more and confidence. It's not in a lot of a lot of us go to God like this. Like I don't I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this situation. Why, why, why? And it's like God wants you to go like, God, this is not serving me. Like, not because I'm desperate, not because I need to get out of this situation, but I've just grown out of it. So when are you gonna bring me something that's gonna suit me better for the person that I am now and not the person that I have already grown out of? So it's like talking to him different having a different energy and i'm noticing in the collective this whole time is about confidence because like i told y'all july is the month of faith but to have faith you need confidence you need true confidence in yourself because when leo season comes we're just stepping in confidence so now everything is just flowing to us this isn't a matter of us having to actually even say anything this is a matter of our energy knowing we deserve more get about my way I, I, do I look like I shop here? Do, do I look like I work here? Do it look like I do that? Be for real with yourself. Look at me and just say, you know what I'm saying? It's like our energy, our mindset, our physical reality. It's like everything is going to start adding up into what you want because you got your faith under control, because you got your confidence under control and you know what you, and confidence comes with knowing who you are. But confidence also comes from validating who you're trying to be and who you are at this present moment and who you have transformed yourself into becoming and transformed yourself into being right now. Because sometimes when we say the I'm letting go of this part of myself, it's like you're invalidating the fact that you need this part of you to grow. A lot of us just try to be like, I'm just going to let this go and cleanse this and da da da. No. To you have to learn that it's not about letting go. It's about transforming. <laughs> I just noticed personally, my body doesn't like when I say like, I'm going to let this part of me go because it's like, I'm not letting go of anything. I'm transforming that part of myself into something more powerful because I realize matter cannot be destroyed. <laughs> no matter what, matter cannot be destroyed. So it's like, this is still part of matter. So I cannot be destroyed, but it can be transformed so i'm transforming myself into something new that's how i see it like god always tells me that like don't don't say let go let go isn't a good word because it's like you're let going a piece of a piece of the puzzle by you letting that go and not actually dealing with it and facing it you're missing a piece of your puzzle to continue this journey and now it's like you have to go back into that time of where you straight off that path and get that puzzle back but in power in truth in self and love you know this week the collective is all about confidence july is all about confidence and faith and i can honestly tell you <laughs> the question for this week is what is confidence what is faith and i'm still as your coach i'm doing this right with you what is confidence what is faith what is confidence what is faith I know I said lack of confidence comes from being ungrateful. 
that's what I can say. When I think of lacking confidence, it's, it's coming from being ungrateful. And confidence is just being grateful. But it's deeper than that. I know lack of confidence comes from being ungrateful because it's the only reason why you've been unconfident. Because you're not grateful and you're not really seeing the power in, in what you have right now. So I guess confidence does come from gratitude. Because the more confident you are in yourself, because you're confident in the day that you're going to have. So you're happy about the day that you're going to have. You're happy about the creations that you're going to create. You're happy within your soul because you see nothing to be sad about. So confidence is tied to gratitude. While lack of confidence is tied to being ungrateful. You know, faith. I got to think about faith. Because when I think about faith, like faith without sight is sin. And it's so crazy that I'm asking y'all the question and I still have yet to even come to the conclusion of what, what, what it is to me. And I've been noticing the lack of connection that I've had with myself because it's like I keep disconnecting my Wi-Fi at home, one. And then when I do get the Wi-Fi back on, it's going very slow lately. And that's how I know I'm having a slow connection with myself. I'm slowly getting myself back in order and I'm slowly getting myself back arranged with itself. And I'm doing that so purposefully. And I love that so much for me. Because the faster I go, the less time I have to actually recognize and remember why I'm doing this. Because as fast as I'm going, I'm not truly appreciating. I'm just doing. So now I'm just doing things on instinct instead of appreciating what I have right now. You know, being very ungrateful. Some, some moments you do need that. Because when God says leap, you need to leap. Don't think about that. He told you what to do. Either you're going to follow through with it or you're not. You know, after the leap, you can explain what you did and why you did it to yourself. But during the leap and he told you to move, move. Don't question it. Don't sit there and think about it. You know, what's so crazy. I'm getting a lot of like stomach pain. And that's that sacred and solar because that solar is that confidence and that sacred is that creativity because we're upgrading into a new self of confidence of creativity that divine feminine energy being healed right now i've been getting a lot of back pain stomach pain um i need to check out something because something in my lip lips is going on like my gums so um, I need to think about 1721 as I said that and that 17 is that happy number. When I think of 21, I don't I don't really know because that that two and that one to me is always just coming into balance. That's that stillness energy for me. But um let's see. 1721. But yeah, I just need to figure out with my mouth and then when I figure out what the mouth is for, we're going we're going to get cracking like it. <laughs> and I've noticed like because I'm not allowing my mind to slowly, to go freely, a lot of my downloads aren't coming out as they're supposed to be. Because lately I've been so tense. And I, I'm just now starting to notice how tense I've been. How much I've been like so desperate for me to succeed. So desperate for me to win. So it's like I've been trying to go faster than what my mind can handle at times. And it's like not even my mind, my soul. I want to say my soul. I don't want to say my song. It's like I'm going faster than what my mind can actually process at this time. But I know I have to keep continuing. And as I continue, just like I told y'all, as I'm continuing the leap, I have to talk to myself through the leap. So it's like as I'm doing the leap, after the leap is done, now I have to sit down and evaluate what the hell that I just did while still being consistent with everything else that I've just set up for myself. And it's like I have to know how to find a better bigger and better balance and i'm doing that slowly but surely because the faster like i told y'all the faster we go at trying to move up it's not even levels or ranks it's just the faster that we're trying to develop ourselves the less that we're actually recognizing what we're doing so the slower you go in realizing that you have the luxury of time and you're not wasting it by loving yourself by seeing yourself by slowly trying to recharge yourself you know and i've noticed like i haven't done my breathing techniques like i used to because my body is very tense because i'm a very intense person person <laughs> i'm a very intense person 
but I've took a year off of being around people and I've learned how to regulate myself and my own energy but I learned how to do it for myself when I was around myself so I didn't have anybody's energy to test it around so now that I've learned how to regulate myself as I'm around other people I'm starting to notice how sensitive I am to energy and how I need to allow myself to still do my same breathing techniques my same affirmations and mantras in my head my same routines like I, I like I was when I was by myself and I'm noticing I need to slow down and I keep saying this every video because every video we need to slow down we're going too fast slow down you know I just started noticing like I'm having heavy anxiety and instead of stopping and just like because I wanted to cry today and I was wanting to cry and I had anxiety from literally literally just trying to fill out a college application and I'm like why am I so stressed from doing something so simple yes it was tedious but it was like what am i rushing for why do i have to do this right now why am i forced 20 55 as i say this why am i forcing myself to do something and it's like i'm just freaking out i'm just judging the whole situation i just wanted to cry because i did not understand what was going on and it's like i haven't felt this way since i was in high school y'all like when I couldn't, when my mama didn't, mama really didn't teach me how to regulate my emotions. I had to learn how to regulate my emotions. And I just regulated my emotions like last year, I promise y'all. I just learned how to do that. Like for six years, I just knew how to be heartless and keep it pushing, you know, not really think about it too emotionally on what I was doing. And I'm not gonna say I, I was heartless, cause no, I just was rather wanting to be the victim and always just, it's me, 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 not understanding, no baby you're the problem <laughs> you're the issue okay but now this is lemon cucumber water by the way okay y'all need to start with drinking something <laughs> have a little fruit to have a little sad Just do something <laughs> i'm gonna be um selling what is it is it protein shakes it's not protein powder it's like a q sports um caffeine all vegan energy drink i'm gonna have to get more into it but my personal trainer is getting me onto it and i'm like oh i need to start selling that girl <laughs> i need to start what really using that every day because they got like this i'm sorry completely off topic but <laughs> apologize i mean completely off topic but really on topic because you know i gotta promote myself somehow <laughs> But it's like these cute sports and they, that's why I'm like, I need to get more into it. Because <laughs> I don't even know. But I know they got this like green drink one. And I love the green drink one because it got like, it's like vegetables and stuff like that. And if you like mantra, what is it? I think it's matcha pineapple. That's what it was. Like that pineapple strawberry drink at Starbucks. Not strawberry, but that pineapple smoothie drink. Mantra pineapple smoothie drink at Starbucks. You're going to like that. When I have it more and I have more information, I'm going to put y'all on. Okay? I'm going to put y'all on. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Just know that because your girl is out here really working on bettering herself, not only for myself, but my collective as well. I feel like y'all deserve a coach who is all there for you, who's always growing with you, and who's always updating herself. Updating? <laughs> updating myself like a computer. You know, I am. <laughs> storage storage memory on full, girl. Um but yeah just up updating and upgrading herself on a daily and i'm doing that on a daily y'all like i'm really locked in with this collective and i'm really locked in with just doing this more and more and more and like i'm gonna be back <laughs> it's not i'm gonna be back i am back i am back permanently i am back i took my break but now it's time to get back to being consistent and get back to being committal with not only myself but my business as well it's just like i no excuses no excuses no excuses no excuses if i'm gonna be like that with someone else then i gotta be like that with myself because i can't be a hypocrite of my word anymore because i gotta practice what i what i preach so there's no excuses more of a better schedule i got y'all more on a better schedule but right now i wanted to do like the what was it 30 days like 30 days of consistently 
making videos because i feel like i got a video in me every day <laughs> and i know i could do it every day so i think this i want to say this is day four i'm gonna say this is day four okay day four out of 30 i know i like completely took a turn but it's coming up for a reason day four out of 30 okay I wish I did some editing. I swear to y'all, when I start like getting professional, professional and doing editings, funny. Cause the stuff that's in my head, goofy, funny. Um, what else is it? I got, I completely got off topic that I think I just even drove spirit away. But my inner child needs to come out. I be watching clean cut videos and her inner child be coming out all the time. Her shadow, her higher self, and I just love her. And that's how I feel. Because there's so many different personalities of me, of Pinky. It's so just, it's just so weird. <laughs> it's not weird, but it's like, girl, girl, different versions of me will come out at different times. Because I never want to be too serious. Too, too, too serious. Is he walking his dog today, child? Who knows? Mm. That dog with no leash, child. Faithfully be walking. <laughs> the dog be listening, though. Okay? That's a cute little dog. <laughs> when black people love their dogs, they gonna do anything for their dog. Okay? I promise you. It's that loyalty. Show me that loyalty you say you got for me. What? I'm hearing that Kodak Black song. That Kodak Black song. Say you want love for me. Who want to take my time with you? Um, not your speed. Not my speed. I don't know what that song is. Uh, I don't know why that song came up. But it just came up. Listen, I need to. Let me see. This is significant in some way. That's really why I'm looking it up. Because I just know. For it to come to my mind. Yeah, everything be like off the top these days. Like these days. I don't know what a pad is these days. Okay. I like how I'm just looking at my song. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I had to really read this to be like, okay, what are you trying to tell me, Spirit? And you want me to take... I, don't, I keep reading you ain't got... You ain't the one for me, baby. You ain't got shit I need. You want me to take my time with you, but maybe I'm not your speed, you know? Maybe I'm out your league. You ain't got no cheese. Maybe I'm just too G for you. Maybe I'm just too straight. Hmm. I can't even roll in peace. Everybody notice me. I can't even go to sleep. I've been rolling on a band. Hmm. It's something about... It's really something about, well, maybe I'm not your speed. Maybe I'm not your lead. You ain't even got no cheese. Maybe I'm just too G for you. Maybe I'm just too street. It's really that, like, maybe I'm not your speed and maybe I'm out your lead. Okay. Take that as you will. Maybe I'm not your speed and maybe I'm... He didn't say anything, but he said, maybe I'm not your speed, maybe I'm out your lead. Hey, I'm not your speed and maybe I'm out your lead. It's, it's something something to do with that part. Because I want to be like, oh my God, you're not you're out the league. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, maybe I'm not your speed and maybe I'm out your league. Because this version of yourself, that's not you anymore. You know what you got to do. You know your speed now. You, you, you have done this for about a good three months of what you're supposed to be doing. And now that stuff is going to start rolling in. And now that stuff is going to start coming in. The people that's not in that same frequency are not in that same speed that you're in. You're just not in my league anymore. I just can't be around around you no more i just can't vibe with you anymore because it's like i'm really healing i'm really upgrading i'm really going fast with myself 
I'm really like in my own speed of healing, growing, evolve, evolving, developing. I'm developing my faith. I'm developing my confidence. I'm developing my strength. I'm developing my power. I'm developing, upgrading my prayers for them to stick in me, understand why I'm praying. I'm doing more spiritual hygiene. I'm doing more working out. I'm doing more listening to myself rather than other people. And it's like, you're doing so much. Maybe I'm not your speed. Maybe I'm out your league, okay? It's like, maybe it is my fault because I'm growing faster than you and you can't equip me with what I need. So me staying in this relationship with you would literally be me trying to kill myself. Be an enemy of myself because when you're an enemy, you're betraying yourself. That's it. Okay, you're an enemy when you are betraying yourself and you've been your biggest enemy like that Janae um, Monet song, Flow. I used to be my worst enemy. <laughs> okay what now i gotta now y'all know i got to look this up float on my float on my floor they hitting on me hitting on me. okay 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 float on them i float on them just float they hanging on that goose down in my coat okay float on them float on them just float i don't step i don't walk i don't dance i just floats <laughs> okay whoa, whoa, whoa wait 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 i used to just i used to let niggas get to me i used to be my own enemy now i done had several epiphanies over some breakfast at tiffany's what had to forgive all my frenemies they are not who they pretend to be i had to protect all my energy i'm feeling much lighter now i float float on on float on on Girl, if I can sing, I'll be fucking up the club, okay? <laughs> oh my god, no, I got it on my pants. But yeah, I used to let niggas get to me. I used to be my own enemy. Now I done had several epiphanies over some breakfast at Tiffany's. Had to forgive all my frenemies. They are not who they pretend to be. Had to protect all my energy. I'm feeling much nighter. Now I float. I don't know why I said it so fast, but <laughs> like, I just love that. Cause it's like you used to be your own enemy you used to really dog yourself out you used to really not even want to be around you you know what i'm saying but that's why that rolling in peace by kodak now it's coming together that's why that rolling in peace by kodak black was put together because it's like that part of you that didn't was an enemy of yourself is rolling in peace like I have came to terms with myself. I have gained more faith and confidence, meaning I have gained more gratitude for who I am and who God placed me to be on this earth that it's like I float now. I had several epiphanies over breakfast at Tiffany's, okay? It's like, be for real. I, I, I'm, I don't need to be an enemy of myself. I don't need to be my worst enemy. I don't have to think about the people who hate me or people who victimize me. I victimize myself. Everything is a reflection of what I brought to myself. I have to realize that. I take accountability for that because I rule my life and I guide my life. I'm not going to sit here and be like, it's your fault that I don't make it in life. No. My family is not the one stopping me. I'm stopping me. My friends aren't the ones stopping me. I'm stopping me. The people of the outside world isn't the one stopping me. I'm stopping me. And if I don't want to stop me, then I have to be consistent. And consistency comes with confidence, which comes with gratitude, which comes with faith. But again, we still got to figure out what is faith. We got to figure out those details of our life of what is faith? What is confidence? Because just because I think confidence is gratitude doesn't mean that's what your confidence is made of. Because we are two different functioning humans. Again, this is just inner conversations of the conversations you're supposed to be having with yourself. And the conversations you're needing to have with yourself. Because it's about what is confidence? What is faith? You know, and I got to look back at my journals because I probably have the answer for it. I've just gotten so away from myself because i've been trying to listen to somebody i've been wanting someone to save me and that energy has been coming up so much no one is going to save you and i've been having to tell myself that no one is going to save you so when my mentor told me today at the gym and she was like pinky i'm just so happy that you're so aware like you're so aware of yourself and i was just like you're right i am aware of myself because i never want myself to be an enemy of myself i'd rather spend the rest of my days learning how to love me how to see me how to better me before i ever get back into trying to destroy me you know truly 
And so right now, this is the energy where we have to be aware of what kept us grounded in the times where we didn't have anything. And now that things are coming at us, and when I say we didn't have anything, I mean the only person we have was ourselves. And ourself was the main person, like, fighting through these struggles. <sighs> ourself was the only person that was talking to us, that was being there for us, that was really validating us you know i'll be wanting to give myself a hug like this like this is hard on me it's not even hard as much as like 505 is i'm finna say this as much as i want to give myself a hug because it's like <sighs> and then i gotta take a break y'all <laughs> because it's like the work that it takes to really love yourself to really see yourself <sighs> to really battle with the parts of your mind that hated yourself you know that thought yourself was ugly that thought yourself was not worth it as other people to really come back from the pits of your own soul and find yourself again is a lot it's a lot and it's something you should be proud of and if you're not proud of that at this time that's what god is trying to get you proud back into like you should be proud of the work you've done on yourself you should be proud of the fact that you love yourself enough to know who you are what you want and what you need hmm? at each time of your life it's like you should really be proud of yourself for the work that you have done the work you continue to do god has not left you you have not left yourself you just have not meditated you you're, you're just so overly stimulated because you're trying to run away again and I'm noticing that about myself because I'm trying to run away again. I'm trying to get away from my present moment because I feel like the only thing I can do is get up out of here. So I got to close off that little baby song. It's like back to going, got to put it up, you know, because it got me up again to keep starting after my downfall. But now that I'm rising back up and I'm realizing I never lost anything, I just started over, but not from scratch. <laughs> not from scratch i just started over with love this time so i have everything i need and i'll go as fast and gain as much faster than what i did last time the moment i slow down and love myself but the little baby song is i'm back going hard again i'm shutting down my heart again no one can get next to me so they gotta put orders in try my best to act like i don't care but i can't hold it in and i'm not not into losing i go hard as i can go to win i'm going back hard again i'm shutting down my heart again no one can get next to me so you gotta put orders in try my best to act like i didn't care but i can't hold it in and i'm not into losing i go hard as i can go to win it's like that energy of like you can't shut down your emotions no more that's not how you function no more that's not how you work no more that's not what you do anymore that's not who you are anymore so the reason why you keep trying to go back into that system of yourself i don't know and i don't understand it and i don't want to understand it and you shouldn't want to understand it either you should just want to be a new person and understand like i need to know when to take a break because now i'm in sync with my body i need to know when i have to journal because now i'm in sync with my body i need to know how to clean myself properly and i'm talking about not only physical but spiritually how can i cleanse myself does that mean i need to pray more does that mean i need to take more baths and pray over that does that mean i need some more oil and pray over that and put it over myself does that mean i need more mantras because how am I going to fix myself mentally? How am I going to cleanse my spirit and soul mentally? Because the situation I'm in is making me uncomfortable. But it's also putting pressure onto me to get my shit together. And actually do my big one like I've been wanting to. And stop taking care of everybody else but take care of me. So it's like, how are you fixing yourself spiritually and physically mentally and emotionally what are you listening to mentally to cleanse your spirit to get it back focused on you back centered on you back centered on love so you can have the confidence to make your days better because if you're irritated with light talking to you that's because you're not used to talking to yourself enough you're not used to receiving yourself enough you're not used to actually hearing the truth enough because you block your own self out you don't listen to yourself confidence also comes from listening 
to yourself and actually being committal to the consistency of listening to yourself and doing what yourself asked you to do because you listen to what your soul has been doing off just flowing with yourself and you realize oh wait i might need to lay down because i'm really tired oh wait I might need to journal because I've been really negative about something that I don't have to be negative about. I might need to call my friend because I need somebody, a safe space that I can talk to, a safe space that I can go to, a safe space that I can grow with. So not only will I just be in this depressive state, but I will have somebody that goes there with me and take me right back out of it because they realize the deeper truth of who I am and who they are and know that like my sister needs help. Okay. Like, my sister needs help. So it's like you're starting to realize that you have to learn how to keep yourself grounded. And the tools that you have from, I want to say, 2023, from, I want to say, between 2017, maybe even 2015 to 2022, it's like, what tools did you use to heal yourself, to see yourself, to get into the person that you know you are today, but you have to keep healing and growing into something different? And how is that going to happen for you? How can you do that? How can you improve that? What can you do to talk to yourself to make you understand that, like, wait, I need to be talked to like this today. I need to be away from people for like this long today. Okay, I might need to go outside and record this video. Okay, I might need to exercise a little bit harder today. Okay, wait, I might need to be in the sun today. Okay, wait, I might need to sleep today. It's like, what have you done to understand yourself enough to ground yourself back to you? And then you also need to create space for silence so you can actually listen, meditate, because meditating is about listening to your insides, listening to how you treat yourself, listening to your habits, listening to your mindset, listening to your body, being aware aware of your body feeling your body feeling if you tense up feeling if you tense up do you tense up a lot do you tend to be more shielded or do you tend to be more open and grounded do you tend to be like this or do you tend to be open and grounded do you tend to talk a lot and do you really tend to talk or do you tend to talk slowly I've been noticing in my videos, I'm talking very much fast because I've been treating life fast. I haven't been doing my breathing exercises. I haven't been praying as much as I've been needing to because I've been so focused on, I need to hurry up and get everything together and not understanding the delays is coming from, I'm not focused on myself. I'm focused on the end result. I'm focused on just getting there and just saying, okay, God, this is what I want. Like, I guess I got to shut off my heart again so I can get there faster. It's like I'm focusing on getting there faster and just experiencing my life as I get there. Slow and steady rinse the race. That's what my friend said. And, you know, it's that um, Sober Minds by Mona Leo. And um, she was she was saying about, what she say? Slow boogie better than a no boogie. That's what I feel. Sober Minds, Sober Minds. <laughs> yeah she said breathe through it breathe through it this ain't nothing you can breathe through it life is like a book you gotta read through it and at first you don't succeed then you can redo it so stop paying attention to what she doing he doing how do you expect to keep moving forward you looking back what you went from overlooked now you the only only one they look at <laughs> look at you the only one they call to get the bookings back call when the product dope then you can the only one yeah yeah yeah. i don't know why i'm reading like that <laughs> but um i'm gonna have to listen to that song after this child um and she was like keep my head up i'm maintaining a sober mind i'm fed up but i'm keeping a sober mind uh, take a plane or take a bus either way it's not a rush it's not about the time it's what you did with it okay what she said she said slow boogie better than no boogie believe that if you gotta go then set a plan so you achieve that if it if it don't leave you better off then you should leave that if it's coming out your mouth then watch your words make sure you mean that y'all hear this do y'all hear this shit you gonna complain i get it done face the pain or you can run which one you choose just make sure you can live with it come on she she hit that hoe 
<laughs> whichever one you choose just make sure you can live with it take a plan or take a bus either way it's not a rush it's not about the time it's what you did with it she hit that she hit that if y'all not listening to mona leo i don't know what y'all got going on but she she hit that she hit that she hit that if it's coming out your mouth then watch your words make sure you mean that you're gonna complain or get it done face the pain or you can run because that's what we've been trying to do we've been running i've been noticing one thing about water signs they run so much and it's so crazy because they know the truth they just don't like hearing the truth they like can hear the truth one time but if you're repeatedly telling them the truth and you're repeatedly telling them what to do and you're repeatedly giving them guidance they don't like that i've noticed that a lot of water signs tend to run away from the blanket truth that it's their fault like it's like water signs don't understand the responsibility they need to take and uphold within themselves they know the truth but they choose to run away from it and avoid it and try to find different like shortcuts to to make life better for them i've noticed that with a lot of them i noticed that i don't say other signs don't do it either but i'm just saying i like how i bit my tongue because something's trying to like tell y'all <laughs> Something's trying to shut me up. Too bad. <laughs> but yeah, I've really noticed that. Um, Honestly, I don't have too much other to say. Because that was a heavy channel. <laughs> and I'm 45 minutes into the video. So I'm probably going to go soon. I'm going to go soon. But I definitely recommend listening to Mono Leo. Sober Minds, I recommend listening to Flow by Janae Monet, and then I recommend Rolling in Peace. Those are the three songs that I channeled during this reading, so that means you need to go listen to them. And as you're listening to them, write. Just write what you think. Write what you say. Write what is on your mind. Okay? Write is what, what's on your mind. Y'all hear that car hunk? Y'all hear that car hunk? Okay? <sighs> Confirmation from spirit. Believe in me. Believe in your big sus pinky. She gotcha. Uh, and then I do want to say just email me for sessions pinkylifeadvice at gmail.com my life is going to start getting a little bit busier but it's okay because I will always make time for y'all all, all y'all have to do is just email me we can go over the price we can go over what you're trying to do and what you want and I got you I can't wait to start healing y'all just more and more and seeing like in person meetups and stuff because I have so much of a plan for my future just right now I got to get myself together and I'm getting myself together slowly but surely. But the vision that I see for myself and how far this this life coaching is going to take me, crazy. Can't wait for y'all to see what's in my mind. Just, ah, ah, I can't wait. And it's all going to come together pretty soon. It's coming together now. And all I can say is just like, thank you, God. 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 Because <sighs> God is good. What Keith Levy saying? God is good. All I can say is God is good. God is good. God is good. Because <laughs> God is what? Always good and always on time. Anyway, <laughs> just email me for sessions. And the sessions are for the self love, getting you to understand how you love yourself and how you see yourself. Self reflection. It's always, a lot of the times, we're not aware of what we have done so we want to look into your past and actually get you to reflect on the good times and the bad times as well see how you progressed yourself from being the victim to now being the victor you know how you conquered your fears how you conquered your darkness it's not even about conquer how you loved your darkness into light or into balance <laughs> my heart did a little twist and then we have this self-awareness because a lot of us aren't aware enough of how we clench up and how tense we actually are and lately i've been tense so i need to brush up on my skills of the self-awareness courses okay um and then i have other courses it's like vent and validate vent and validate is where you want to come in and if somebody pissed you off that day and you just need a session with me hey i understand so the vent is validate is where you come and you just tell me about something that's been on your mind for that week or that day something that just pissed you off and you just need help like venting it out but then also getting somebody to get you back focused on the truth get validating the parts that you played in it but also the part that they played in it so you can learn how to transform that energy from negativity into light so you can learn how to like do mantras and so you can learn how to self-regulate yourself you know emotionally mentally <laughs> spiritually even physically um and then this is so deja vu for me <laughs> 
and then i want to say learning to let go a lot of us don't understand all we need to do is just talk to somebody all we need to do is just talk to somebody get us to understand our feelings get us to understand our perspective and get us to understand ourselves so a lot of the times y'all think <laughs> that somebody is mad at you ain't nobody mad at you i don't know why i said that that just came up randomly <laughs> it's not that somebody is mad at you a lot of the times you think you still mad at somebody or a lot of the times you're still holding yourself victim to a situation because you're not understanding why you need to let that person go you're, you're sitting there trying to make them the victim or you're sitting there still mad at them because you're not understanding your part that you played in this you're just validating the pain you're just validating the negativity you're just validating the blame and a lot of the times the blame isn't on you it's on them so now that's why you're really angry because you really don't understand what's going on and you really don't know how to let stuff go and you really don't know how to just make sure that when you leave a situation get it i don't know who you are i don't know what you did to me but you know first before we can get to that stage we have to get to the stage of understanding why you left and understanding why it wasn't better for you and understanding why you need to stay gone because sometimes the issue isn't that you need to erase them out your life the issue is you don't understand what boundary they crossed at that time you know you want to understand that and you want to understand that a while until you forget about them and then by the time they come back you're gonna be like girl i'm glad you changed because i changed too if that is in the cards for you and if god aligns your life like that i'm not saying that's how everybody's things is gonna go but i'm just saying that's just how it is but i'm really just talking to versions of yourself as well because if you're thinking about people that's basically the same thing but i'm talking about versions of yourself because parts of yourself are always going to try to come back to you but you're going to have to understand why i can't do it in that way anymore because i'm a different person so i can do it but i have to replace this addiction or i have to place this habit with something healthier something lighter something more with me like one thing about me when i smoke i definitely pray over my blend i will pray over anything that i smoke because I need to know how to love myself. You know, it could be the littlest thing of, you know, allow this, allow this blunt to heal me. Allow this blunt to get me to see myself. Allow this blunt to get me to have words of affirmation with myself. Allow this blunt to get me to love myself better. It doesn't matter. When you pray over that and you believe what you're praying over as you're smoking that, when you get done with that blunt or when you get done smoking, or even if you're getting done eating, or even if you're getting done just watching TV, your mindset is going to start thinking differently because you just did a prayer over yourself. You just said a statement over your life. You just claimed your territory in your own life and you just claim something to god that this is what this is used for and this is what you're going to do it for because i want to be a different person so after this i'm going to be a different person and it's like people need that's why mona leo when she was like watch the words that come out your mouth and really mean it let me see if it's coming out your mouth then watch your words make sure you mean that that's what that's what she means you got to learn how powerful your mouth is you have to learn how powerful your words is you have to learn how powerful your heart is you have to learn how powerful your mind is and how much you can change narratives change perspectives people's narratives people's perspective not only on life but as yourself as well because once they start to see that you can do it then they realize that they can do it because sometimes you're put in people's lives to be the example of what they always wanted to see victory victory you have a bigger purpose remember why you have a bigger purpose remember why you have a bigger structure remember why you are important Whew. i forgot what i was even doing y'all that was god thank you god <laughs> but i am finna get up off of here because i will go a whole hour and 20 minutes y'all like i'm so proud of myself because i haven't went an hour in a long time y'all i promise you i haven't i've missed talking to myself and i've been telling y'all this week is about having an emotional roller coaster with yourself and having emotional breakthroughs because you're literally breaking down that divine feminine and one thing about a divine feminine all we really need is confidence we need creativity <laughs> 
We need to be grounded within our confidence or creativity. And you know that sexual energy because that sexual, en sex sexual energy be transformed into, it's crazy because Keeping Up With OG is talking about sexual energy. And I was like, why is she talking about sexual energy? Because that's what helps us feminine energies. Like once we channel, once we master our sex energy and the sex within this, then we can like really transfer that energy into creating something, into becoming something. Even like, it doesn't even have to be in a physical sense. It can be in a very much like a mental, emotional, spiritual sense for selves. Because once we master that energy and we can channel it into different versions of ourselves, because if you're not having sex or even if you are having sex with somebody, you're literally manifesting with that person if that's the right person. And both of y'all can get something out of that exchange. Okay? Want us to bring in life and want us to create life. You know what I'm saying? So it's like y'all are both creating something because if you have a partner, then that's really like your masculine that you truly can depend on. And you really found God within a human form. So you really got somebody physically supporting you. So you're even more safer to create when you do have a partner. And when you don't have a partner, you just have God. But that's still okay. You're no different to the people that do have partners. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit more energy and it's going to take a little bit more work. And it's going to have to take a little bit more structure and love for yourself because you don't have someone constantly in your ear. You literally have to to build yourself not by yourself because god is there and he's gonna send his supporters just disciples to help you and be there with you but it's still like this is a step that you're gonna have to take by yourself and you're always gonna need that even when you're in a partnership you're always still gonna have to take the first step and the first leap by yourself no matter what you know and a lot of the times the feminine takes the first step because the masculine is there to stay behind and protect the territory as the feminine is going out and marking like which new land she wants are doing not parking <laughs> or creating new like stability creating new balance creating new ideas it's just it's just a lot okay because the spending energy within the collective is being healed and worked on right now so if you're having stomach pain it's literally because you're you're starting to gain your confidence and you're starting to understand who you are and you're starting to gain control of yourself you're having back problems it's because you're getting more rooted within yourself and rooted in who you are you know your arms your strength <laughs> I'm crazy. But bye y'all. I just wanted to say I love you just as much as I love myself and I love myself a lot. So that means what? I love you a lot. And I have faith in you just as much as I have faith in myself. And I have faith in myself a lot. So that means what? Have faith in you. Have faith in you. I like how I'm really like sweating in this car, but I like this heat. That's how I know my period come. And if my period when my period comes in July and when it comes on this number. I'm gonna tell y'all about it because it's really like if it comes during this full moon fam not full moon if it comes during this new moon in cancer that would be such a spiritual meaning for myself my period coming on a full a new moon a new moon that means I'm literally creating a whole new sense of myself and that's why I had to get rooted in that like I had I needed a week of like negativity I needed a few weeks of negativity so when this new moon come because we just got out of the full moon in Capricorn and one thing about Capricorn we love control <laughs> we love control I'm not a Capricorn but I'm a South known in Capricorn and it's like we love control like I love to control the situation I love to control my habits and that's that earth side of me too like it, it, I don't even have to be a Capricorn but it's just like that earth side of us just loves to be in control love to be stable love to have everything together loves to know be in the know and it's like lately I haven't been in the know so that's been making me want to run and making me want to create situations and scenarios because it's like I have to hurry up and get out of here because I don't feel as stable as I really want to but it's like girl you're so stable you're so okay just allow yourself to chill <laughs> so it, it, it's just a lot so that's why i'm just like i just need to slow down and i just need to come to loving myself and to seeing myself and take that as you see yourself too as you love yourself too as you become one with yourself too bye y'all let me stop because i go on a two-hour tangent <laughs> bye